You can find some of Simone Biles' biggest fans at Flawless Gymnastics in Fort Worth. I support Simone Biles and her decision 100%. But they were disappointed not to see her compete this week. But I tell the kids, um, you know, the one thing you don't want to do, if you can at all costs, stick with your team to the very end. Coach Pursuis Carter says you have to help students find a balance between pushing through challenges and recognizing their limits. Biles says she withdrew from competition to protect herself from injury because she wasn't in the right headspace. Gymnasts say this sport is uniquely dangerous. A small mistake or an off day can have catastrophic consequences. One second of not thinking could cost you a lot, cost you an arm, cost you a finger, or cost you your life. A wide range of celebrities and athletes immediately came out in support of Biles' decision. But many of her critics accused her of letting down her team and her country. Nobody should be mean to her. No, no one should belittle mental health issues. Nobody's doing that. But this is a weird one. Talk radio host Mark Davis found himself in the middle of a firestorm after sharing his take. And anyone daring to say that sometimes you just have to push through it, gut up and do what's expected of you. Oh, God help anybody that said that because that instantly became uh, horribly cruel. No matter what, Biles will go down in history as one of the greatest gymnasts of all time. I would tell people to take a step back, look at the individual outside of the athlete. In Fort Worth, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.